Hi, we're gonna practice today back bends. So half, um, half with you, your blocks, the strap, we might, you might need it. Um, this practice will be a little bit intense, so be mindful today, move, listening to your body, be patient and always have fun. That's the reason why we're doing this, right? So we're gonna start today in child's pose. We're gonna open the knees wider than your hips, bring the big toes together, sit back, extend your arms forward and place your forehead down. Relax the arms. If you find that this pose is, could be intense on your knees, you can place a towel or a blanket under the knees just to give yourself more cushion, okay? And don't worry if your hips are a little bit higher. Be patient. Be loving. Start inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Every time you exhale, relax the body more and more. When you're ready, activate the fingertips, elbows off the mat, inhale, and then exhale, walk the hands all the way to the right. Try to keep your left hip down. If you find that the hip is up, maybe you walk back a little bit, okay? Once you find a comfortable position, you're gonna bring your left arm under the right. And maybe you can place your left ear down, maybe not. If it's not happening, you're gonna grab one of the blocks and you're going to place your head. All right, and breathe deeper. So we're working inside stretching and our shoulder as well. Exhale, and come back here, walk your hands back to center. We're going to inhale, and then exhale, walk the hands all the way to the left. And maybe you can place the right ear down. This time you're going to bring your right arm under the left, and place your right ear down. If you need a block, use your block. And breathe deeper. If your hips do not come, maybe you stay here, okay? Breathe. Exhale, very slow, come back to center. Place your forehead down. Move your neck side by side. Maybe you can move your hips side by side. And then whenever you're ready, bring your body forward to find tabletop. Tabletop, remember the alignment. We have been here before. So shoulders align with the wrists, hips align with the knees. And whenever we're ready, we're gonna find cacaos. We're going to inhale, drop the belly, open the chest, look up. And then exhale, round the back. Look to your navel. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more and last one. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to neutral. This time we're gonna bring the right leg back. Toes are pointing down. This is your first option. You're gonna stay here. 
or you can bring your left arm up find your balance i know breathe deeper try to keep your eyes looking down neck long breathe this time you're gonna place your left arm down and this time we're gonna tuck the toes the left toes to your left and you're gonna bring your body weight to the left keep the right leg up and you're going to open to your right breathe you're gonna place the right foot down and you're gonna extend your right arm over your right ear and give yourself a nice good stretch Ooh, it feels so good right this time we're gonna bring the right leg up one more time and we're going to bring the right foot close to our glute and maybe you can use your hands to help your body up or maybe this is the moment where you maybe can need a strap. So do your best. If, if it's not happening, maybe you can do this, all right? And try to bring your right foot as close as you can to your glute. To feel the stretching of the thigh, or maybe you can kick back, 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 back. To open the chest even more and look up. Breathe. And then exhale very slow, release the strap on the side, come back to center, keep the right leg up. And fine again, one more time, left arm up. Bring your right foot up and with your left arm, maybe you can grab the toe, maybe not. Where it is? Here it is. Maybe not. So maybe you can use the strap again here, okay? Breathe. Same options, you can keep it closed, maybe you can kick back. So you feel the stretching of the side in the shoulder. And then whenever you're ready, stretch one more time, the right leg back, left hand come back down, keep it up, and then breathe your knee to chest, ground the back, and bring your right foot between your hands. Here you can walk the knee back, or maybe not, so you choose, and then whenever you're ready, you're gonna bring the torso up. You can place your both hands on the top of the right knee. Remember the alignment one more time. Sing once you're ready, you can sing the hips. If you feel like this is so intense, you walk the knee back. You walk the knee forward, back knee. Breathe deeper, relax your shoulders. This is your first auction, second auction, bring arms up. You can interlace fingers here and bring the arms behind your ears. If you want more, you can open the arms like a goddess. Maybe you can look back, eh, up. <laughs> Breathe deeper, keep the belly button in to protect your lower back. And then exhale, frame your right foot. This time we're going to inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more, inhale forward. And then exhale, sit all the way back, back, back. Right toes are pointing up. We're going to inhale, open the chest, look up. And then exhale, bring your nose to me feel the stretch in the back of your legs this is half a split breathe deeper and then exhale very slow come back here maybe you can use the blocks maybe not so I'm just gonna use them. You're going to activate the back leg and you're going to bring your left leg close to your right. You're going to inhale halfway and then exhale full. Bend the knees if you need. Inhale halfway. Exhale full. You're going to bend the knees. You're going to interlace fingers behind. You're going to open the chest, look forward. Inhale. 
and then exhale, fall forward, extend your legs, keep your hands together and maybe let the shoulders go forward, breathe deeper, no tension in your head. And then exhale very slow, release your hands on the side, press your hands down, bring your right leg back, left leg back, plant pose, and from plant pose we're gonna go all the way down. From here, we're going to bring the hands forward. Yeah, imagine the corners of the mat, press your fingertips, Press the top of the feet on your mat. The legs are super active, knees are off the mat. And we're going to inhale, press the fingertips, bring your chest up, and then exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale. You can make a pillow with your hands, press your forehead, move the hips side by side, and release any tension. Breathe. This time we're gonna align the elbow with our shoulders. Hands, the fingers are open, relax the hands, palms facing down. Activate your legs, shoulders away from the ears if you find out that you're on this. Try to keep the shoulders as much as you can away from the ears. And breathe here. We're going to bring the chin to chest. Feel the stretch in the back of your neck. And then bring right ear, right shoulder. Come back to center. Left ear, left shoulder. Come back to center. Chin to chest. And then exhale, breathe slow, bring chin up. And then exhale, release all the way down. Make a pillow one more time with your hands. Place your forehead. Move the hips side by side if you need. Keep your breath. This time we're going to bring the hands under our shoulders. Elbows very close to our body. Activate your legs. You can bring your legs together or maybe just wider. Uh, if you feel like it's better and you feel better. And this time, we are not going to press our hands, so we're just going to flow our hands and bring your chest up. Breathe, inhale, and then exhale down. This is our baby cobra. Inhale up, and then exhale down. One more and last one, inhale up, exhale down. Bring the legs together, bring your body all the way back, keep your knees together, arms back, place your forehead down. Relax your body here. This is another variation of child pose. Whenever you're ready, we're going to find downward dog. And then we're dog, place your knees down one more time. We're gonna find tabletop, and from tabletop, we're gonna activate the back, the left leg back. Toes are pointing down, breathe. This is your first option. If you're ready, bring your right arm forward, keep your neck long, eyes down, breathe deeper, find your balance.
you're gonna place your right arm down activate the right toes move your body to the right open all the way bring your left arm up toes are pointing to your left you can place the left foot down and bring your left arm to bring your left ear and give yourself a nice good stretch whenever you're ready bring your left arm up bring your left leg up bring your left close to your glute and if you need the strap you know how to use it breathe you can bring the heel close to your glute or kick back to open the chest and look up even more breathe exhale very slow we're gonna come back one more time to tabletop keep the left leg up when you find that position you're gonna bring your right arm forward find your balance one more time once you're there you're going to bring your left leg up and you're, with your right arm you're going to grab your left and we're going to do the same you're gonna kick back as high as you can to feel the stretching on your shoulder And then exhale very slow, place your right arm down, keep your left leg up, you're going to bring your knee to chest. And then exhale, you're going to place your left leg between your hands, while your back knee. Whenever you're ready, bring the torso up, both hands on the top of the left knee, sink your hips, find your edge. Whatever variation you did before, you're going to repeat here. If you brought your, if you did your arms up, you're going to interlace fingers, bring your arms away from the ears, relax the shoulders, open your arms like a goddess, breathe. We're offering our heart, open your heart, look up. Remember to keep your belly button in. And then exhale, frame your left foot. You're going to move your body forward, inhale. And then exhale back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale one more time. And then exhale all the way back. Left toes are pointing up. We're going to inhale, open the chest, look forward. And then exhale. Bring your nose to knee. Breathe deeper, enjoy your half split. Come back. Press your hands on the mat, activate your back leg. Maybe you can use the blocks, maybe not. And you're going to bring your right leg close to your left. And we're going to inhale halfway. And then exhale, full. Inhale halfway. Exhale, full. Bend the knees one more time. Interlace the fingers behind, open the chest, look forward, inhale, and then exhale one more time, fold forward, keep your arms together, relax your head, breathe deeper, maybe you can move your upper body side by side. And then exhale very slow, relax your arms down, press your hands down, bring your right leg back, left leg back, plant pose, and very slow, we're going to go all the way down, chaturanga, lower plank. Once we are here, we're going to prepare for higher cobra. So again, bring your hands, fingers open very wide, bring your hands under your shoulders, 
You can keep again your feet together or open your legs wide, wherever it feels comfortable. Keep your elbows very close to your body. And whenever you're ready, we're going to inhale, bring your chest up as high as you can. The most important part in Cobra is not to do this. So if you find yourself here, go lower. The most important is to keep the shoulders away from the ears. All right, doesn't matter if you cannot go that high. Breathe deeper. Inhale. And then exhale, look over your right ear. Come back to center. Inhale. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. Inhale, center. And then exhale all the way down. Make a pillow with your hands. Maybe move the hips side by side. Breathe. This time we're going to bring the right leg up. And you're going to grab your big toe, your ankle, any part of your foot, anything that you can grab. And if you cannot grab anything, again, maybe you can use your strap. And you're going to bring that foot as close as you can to your glute. All right, breathe. Breathe deeper. Feel the stretching of the thigh. Bring the knees together. We are going to stem our left arm forward. Keep your eyes looked down. I'm going to do it with the strap so you know how you do it. We are going to bring both legs up. Keep the knees together. Keep looking down. Inhale. And then exhale down. So this is the variation for locus. Preparation for bow. All right. We are going to inhale one more time up. And then exhale down. One more inhale up, exhale down, release the strap. Oh, yeah, yeah. Things happen. <laughs> We're going to move the strap on the other side. Relax here. Move the hips side by side if you need. Whenever you're ready, you're going to bring your left leg up. Again, if you need the strap, you're going to bring that foot as close as you can to your glute. Breathe deeper. Once you find that, we're going to stand the right arm forward, bring the both knees same level, and we're going to inhale, bring everything up. Press your hips down, and then exhale for uh, full. Inhale up, exhale down. One more and last one, inhale up, Exhale down. Release the stra strap on this side. Bring your hands under your shoulders and bring all your body weight back. Sit back on your variation for child's pose, arms back. Press your forehead down. Breathe deeper. This time we're gonna, when you're ready, we're gonna find downward dog. From downward dog, we're gonna give one step forward to make the dog shorter. And with our right hand, we're gonna grab whatever we can in our legs. You should be able, or at least closer, your hips to the, your hips, your heels to the mat. You're gonna bring your right arm outside of the left leg maybe your left ankle and we're going to inhale look over 
your left armpit. Breathe deeper. This is a twist. Exhale, release. Now your left hand outside of the right leg. Breathe. Exhale, release. Walk your feet back for downward dog. And this time we're gonna find tabletop one more time. Bring your knees down. This time we're gonna walk our hands forward and we're going to find puppy pose. So keep your hips high and just bring your chest all the way down so you can place your shin or your forehead. You can use the blocks here you wish choose the level that you want and you're gonna place your form so it feels very good for the opening of the chest the stretching of the back is wonderful so I really love this pose this is puppy pose breathe And then exhale, come back. If you use the blocks, remove them. And when you're ready, we're going to go all the way down one more time. This time, we're going to find the full bowl. So we're gonna bring both feet up and we're going to grab our ankles on this outside. If you cannot do this, or maybe this is all, maybe you already feel it like here and wow, it's too much, stay here, okay, breathe. If you find out that maybe you need your strap, so do your best to bring your strap around your feet. And maybe you can kick back, back, back and bring your chest up. Press your hips down, breathe deeper. Exhale, release down. We're going to do it one more time. Breathe. Inhale up. As high as you can, breathe. Exhale down. Release your strap. And breathe. Maybe you can make a pillow again one more time with your hands. Move the hips side by side. And then exhale, release, find one more time, downward dog. We're gonna place our knees down to find table and we're gonna do lion dance. So we're gonna move our hips forward and back. So you do this as big or small as you wish. Just be mindful, reverse the movement. Feel the stretching everywhere on your body. If you feel any tension, let it go with every exhalation. We're going to inhale forward and then exhale back. Inhale, exhale. If you haven't reversed the movement, please do. Inhale, exhale. One more and last one, inhale, exhale. Come back here to center. You're gonna come to your knees. You're gonna bring your body up. Place your hands on your hips. You're gonna tuck the toes. And we're gonna do just some preparations for camel pose. Don't worry if you feel that this is too much. Stay where you are. Be mindful here. Here, all you're going to do is you're gonna bring your hands behind your uh, lower back. Fingers are pointing up. And we're, all we're gonna is activate your thighs, your belly in, and we're going to inhale. 
o penetrez în lucă and then exhale, come back inhale exhale one more and last one, inhale exhale I'm gonna show you just another variation if you wanna move a little bit forward so we're gonna bring our right hand on the top of the right heel and you're going to bring your left arm up that's all breathe on here exhale come back bring your left hand on your left heel and bring your right arm up inhale and exhale Exhale, come back, and this time we're going to find child's pose. Breathe here in your child's pose. Whenever you're ready, come back up. We're going to twist, so we're going to use our right hand on our left heel if it's possible and left hand on the right thigh we're going to inhale tall exhale twist come back to center left hand on your left thigh and right hand on your right heel breathe exhale now this time we're gonna lay down bring one of the blocks with you we're going to lay down in our back knees are pointing up and we're gonna prepare for half bridge so we're going to Press, press our feet down, bring your hips up. Maybe you can place your block on, under your tailbone, our arms on the side, and this is it. Breathe. You can stay here. This is beautiful the way it is. If you want to move forward with me, you're going to remove the block. You're going to keep the hips high and maybe you can interlace fingers under and maybe you can bring the shoulder blades together and breathe deeper, press the arms down, breathe. And then exhale, very slow, bring your hips all the way down. Bring the knees to touch, hands on your belly. And just relax here for a moment. We're going to do it one more time. Breathe. Whenever you're ready, bring your knees pointing up, arms on the side, bring your hips up, inhale. Interlace the fingers. Bring the shoulders blades together and start breathing. Inhale, exhale. Notice how your belly comes in and out every time you inhale and exhale. Exhale, all the way down. Bring your knees to chest. Move the body side by side. Maybe make some circles with your knees. Give your, a massage to your lower back. Extend your legs up, bring your hands under your knees and move your body forward and back. And find the momentum to sit, extend your legs all the way out. Toes are pointing up, inhale, arms up, and then exhale for forward. Remember, it's not about touching your toes, it's about leading by your heart. Keep your legs active, breathe. And then 
exhale, go back all the way down. Bring the knees to chest. Bring the knees all the way to the right. Open your arms and maybe you can look to your left. Come back to center and bring the knees all the way to the left. Look over your right. Come back to center. Release the legs all the way down. Hands on the side, palms facing up. Relax the body. Welcome to your Shavasana, your final relaxation. Keep your eyes closed if you don't have them yet. There's no more control of the breath. Come back to your normal breath. Stay here one more time as long as you need. Try to focus on your third eye, the space between your eyebrows. Enjoy. See you next time. Namaste.